Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode. Now, last time we built this amazing drawbridge that you, that you just saw uh, go down right there. And today, we're going to be messing with some farm bots again. Messing with some new ideas for some base defenses that are just kind of for the fun of it, just to troll the bots. But uh, hopefully this video is going to come out okay, because this is my first time recording on a brand new PC that just got delivered in the mail yesterday. Now, if you're interested in more details about the build, like the specs and things like that, then uh, go ahead and check my Twitter feed. I posted the full specs on there, as well as other, like, pictures and a short clip of it as well, if you're into PC builds and things like that that might be interesting for you. So yeah, it's gonna be a huge improvement, especially for the editing process. I really got this thing for the sake of speeding up my whole editing and rendering and all that stuff because uh, it wasn't the smoothest process on my other computer. All right, but without any further ado, uh, what we're gonna be doing in today's episode, I've already prepared with uh, the materials I think I need. I have four pistons. We're gonna be using pistons. Um, I also have some sensors that I have sitting over in my inventory there. So I have an idea. I was thinking about like some fun things that I might want to do with the farm bots and I was thinking I might want to build like a vehicle that kind of catapults the bots because we saw it in the survival trailer. They actually built like a rocket power catapult that catapulted a bunch of hay bots away. And um, other than my bouncy floor here, which does send the little greenies over my wall sometimes, which um, I don't know quite the best way to deal with that yet. I mean, yeah, I could just make a ceiling above here, but it kind of ruins the whole castle aesthetic. So I don't know if I want to do that yet. I might look for alternate options. So I kind of I kind of want to intentionally send bots up into the air because this the purpose of this floor, this bouncy floor here, it's not to send the bots up into the air. It's to ragdoll them like this on the ground. But sometimes, <laughs> am I am I stuck now? Oh, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Sometimes it sends them up into the air. But I was thinking about making some more traps and like just, just a couple of traps, not like a whole line like this that is just impossible to get around. I'm just thinking about traps that they might have a chance to walk on. And if they do walk on it, they're gonna regret it. And basically I'm thinking about mini catapult traps, basically a floor with a sensor on the floor, and if the sensor detects that they've walked on this floor, it's gonna spring up really, really fast and hopefully send them backwards, basically giving us more of a buffer, more time to deal with the onslaught of farm bots coming at us. So I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I don't know if that's a viable thing, but we're here to try it out in this episode. So I'm actually gonna walk you guys through the build. So if you guys are playing along too and you like this idea, then uh, you'll be able to build it on your own too, just by watching this video. But first I need a few more materials. We definitely need some bearings. I'm gonna need more bearings than that. I think I do have more bearings than that somewhere. We need our sensors. So the cool thing about these traps that we're gonna make is these are gonna be completely independent and automated. I'm not going to have to deal with turning them on or anything like that, like I do with the balance floor. This is just gonna be completely automatic and uh, we don't have to worry about it. Just set it and forget it and I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to build it in a way that the bots are not going to attack them. They're just gonna walk right over them and not even detect them. All right, I think I got enough now to start working with. So I'm gonna build this on a lift independently first, just as like a prototype. And then if it works well, we can weld it to the ground. And I think I might go with the net blocks for this as well. We want it to be relatively lightweight. And um, I feel like the net blocks are pretty decent for lightweight and they also aren't visually like as obstructive because you can see right through the net block. All right, so I think I'll make it 16 by 16, actually 15 by 15. So we have a, a legitimate center point on this. All right, so we got our 15 by 15 and at the center point, just for the sake of reference, so I know right where the center is, I'm just gonna put a wood block. So now what we got to do is in order for this to be effective, uh, we're going to be using pistons to make this. We're going to have two layers like this, basically, and the piston is going to extend making it do that. So the closer we have the piston to the end here, then the less the piston has to move to create a bigger angle, uh, which means it just moves faster in a shorter, shorter amount of time. So I need to place the piston on a block that can rotate. So I'm going to give this some rotation room by cutting out those. And then here is going to basically be our actual platform that is going to get uh, flung up. So they have to walk onto this platform. So that's the only thing about this trap. We're gonna need a ramp that leads up into it because they need to walk on top of this. 
Oh, whoops. I also forgot that uh, the one that this piston is attached to also needs to be on a bearing and have a little bit of buffer space. So we can go ahead and weld this right onto the bearing. There we go. So that should give it no issues with extending and turning at the same time. So now we just need to attach the top part to the bottom part also on bearing. So we put a bearing there, bearing there. We bring this down to there and then you have to make sure it's welded. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Make sure it is welded. And now do I have any switches on me? I do. That way we can test it out. So now it should, when we extend this piston on super fast and by like two blocks, it should, yeah, we get like a catapult effect, but hopefully that's, hopefully that's enough to actually, we might need to make it smaller. That seems like it's maybe too much weight. Oh yeah, that's not nearly enough. Hold on. Oh, what? Oh, that did not go up to max speed. That's why. I thought I put it up to max speed. There's definitely a problem with the pistons there. All right, let's go back down to two. Is this faster? Oh yeah, that's more like it. So now let's weld this in a test position like that. And we turn that down. So now what is it like if I'm on here? Okay, that definitely, it starts to ragdoll, or... Oh no. Oh no! Oops. That's not good. Here, actually, we don't need most of this bottom part. We can go ahead and delete that. Alright, there we go. So now if I'm on the end, I should go farther. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I want right there. Should I have it go even higher? Like that? All right, let's see how that is. And huh. That should that should do it, right? Whoa! Gave myself some fall damage there. All right, and I think to make it even stronger, I'm going to give this thing uh some holes just like every couple of blocks like this. But it should make it lighter and then therefore faster. So look at that. Look at that effect. That is so good. Now, I'm actually a little bit worried because we want this to be sensor powered. So I'm kind of concerned that the sensor is only going to trigger for like a brief second as they walk by. And is that going to be enough? I think the sensor should trigger like right here. And we're going to have to upgrade the sensor because this is 15. I think, I mean, 12 should be enough, right? Yeah, so we're triggering it like right. Almost, uh, let's, just, let's just go the full 15. There we go. So now it should get triggered right here. Oh, wow. I've never actually seen the sensors. I haven't seen the new sensors. This is so cool. I like the new sensors. Okay, so we should hook that into this. So now let's see if I walk by. Ooh. All right, what happens if I run if I'm going fast? Okay, I get some forward momentum. I'm going to die if I keep doing this. But, oh yes, I don't think farm bots are really that fast, so we should, we should have a pretty decent impact on them. Oh, this is gonna be so good! As long as I don't go too far past it. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I died. <laughs> I actually killed myself with my own trap. This trap is more deadly than our bounce castle. Okay, so the only thing about this trap is they have to be able to walk up onto it. So I'm also going to have to weld this thing into the ground, which means that's going to be permanent. I'm going to have to disassemble the trap if I want to remove it and place it somewhere else. So I really, I want to place this thing kind of nice and centered, like right where this tower is pretty much. So let's get rid of this tower. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Man, we have a minute left until the raid comes. That's not enough time to actually get this trap like up and running and in position. So we're going to have to wait until the next night. But I might be able to lure a farm bot over here or something. All right. And actually, I'm going to delete as much of the net down here because I think I need a lot more net. Because we just need this under part just simply as a ground contact. All right. It's times like this that I really wish the lift was functional to duplicate stuff because I'm going to have to build this every other time I want to put another one of these things in here. So we're going to take the center of this and we're going to weld it right on the center of this. And this is as low as we can have it. Let's make sure it works at that point. All right. Definitely works. It is a deadly trap. So I have to get them to walk up onto that. I really need to get more of these ramps. I really, really do. How many of these ramps will fit onto this? Oh, look, at it's perfect. It is perfectly three ramps. So I took those ramps out from here. I'm just gonna move this saw blade in a little bit closer and I'll take another saw blade and put it over there. So I think that's worth it. 
So they should just walk right up onto it, try to get to me, and then they get denied up into the air. <laughs> That's at almost half health. I need to eat. Okay, let's build another one. So this time, after learning how it's built a little bit better, I'm going to drag 16, and I'm going to go in by one on each side. So now we're 15 by 15. And then what I'm going to do is actually just create a separate item right here. So this is four blocks in from the edge, it looks like. So I actually needed to do less on this than I thought I did. I need less bearings than I thought I did. So what you need to do is we put a piston right on there. All right, so then you put a block on this piston and then just put that there. And then what you need to do is actually go from the center point, but edge. You need to go one, two, three, four, make a hole. And then you take this hole and you weld it right onto that. And then all you gotta do is delete these corners, put bearings on the corners, bring them down to the level of this peg here, attach, weld, attach, oops, atta uh, uh, attach, weld, and where do I have the sensor? I have the sensor. Ah! <laughs> I got myself with my own trap. I that was I did that was completely unintentional. I just wanted to count where the sensor was. One, two, three, four, five blocks in seems to be pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. And what level is that? We need level well whatever fifteen gets us. There we go. And we go to thirteen. I think that sensor was yeah thirteen. And that sensor triggers the piston, which should be on super fast three blocks. So where are we gonna weld this one? And now we should have another pretty much working trap. Oh, that didn't seem as effective. Did the piston settings, they might not have saved. Okay, the piston settings definitely saved. Oh, I need to, I need to do the carving, I forgot. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit lighter. We also get ourselves some more net block back for another one if we wanna build another one. All right, is this better? Oh, wow, so much better. So much better by carving those holes in it. That is amazing. I really want to see some Haybots fly, or even the Greenies. Okay, this one I'm going to do a bit of an experiment with, but first I'm going to anchor it into the ground a bit more on the sides here so that we can delete this center point sticking out. Okay, so hopefully this is a good enough lead up where well, they'll just be able to walk up at no problem. I'm afraid that the Green... I know that the Haybots will walk up this, but I am afraid that the Greenies are going to attack the concrete or attack this edge or something. So hopefully that's not going to happen. So now let's get some saw blades. Let's redo that. Also, I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna plant the crops so we actually have a raid tonight, and we can see how these things do. And maybe I only have 192 uh, the net block. That's not a lot. That's like that's this much. That is that is this that's this much this much net block. I might not be able to build another full one with this amount of net. Oh no, I have more net. I'll be able to do it. We'll make one more. All right, so let's go ahead and farm some bananas again because bananas are my favorite to eat because they do really, really good for hunger. Uh, not as well as broccoli, but broccoli is a little bit high risk for planting. And then since we're doing that high tier of a crop and we're going to have 200 crops, I'm just going to stick with the low tier ones uh, for the rest of it. All right, all of our crops are planted. I have 100 tomatoes, 50 carrots, and 50 banana ready to go. All right, so then in the meantime, I am going to try to build another one. That way we will have three and they'll be kind of in like a V formation. So we'll have this one in the middle and then we'll have these ones on the sides, one over there and then one over here. And hopefully they'll be bound to walk onto one of them at least. I'm trying to create like pillars on the sides so that if they miss them, they're gonna get caught up with their own heads. I know it's dark, but hey, the game lets us do it. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We have another trap built that only took a couple minutes. Oh, I didn't even test it. Let's test it out. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh it works. It definitely works. Oh, man. This is great. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I'm playing. Uh oh, that one didn't work as well. Oh, okay. I'm going to kill myself again if I'm not careful with this. I got to stop now. All right, let's go ahead and top off our health or our hunger and thirst. So now we have four more minutes and then we can see if they actually end up working. I really, really hope that they walk up onto these and don't end up destroying them. Okay, let's see how it looks from the actual castle itself. Probably not that great. Actually, it looks pretty legit. 
looks pretty legit. So I'm hoping this will also do a good job at uh, keep preventing them from clumping together too much because it'll keep breaking some away from the herd. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work as, as well as I hope, but if it does, it's going to be epic. That's for sure. Okay, we have one minute to the raid, so we're going to pull the drawbridge up. Our first official drawbridge before a raid. Every time we use the drawbridge so far, there wasn't actually any legitimate threat incoming, but now we actually have a raid incoming. All right, are these actually going to work? I really hope they work. Place your bets right now. Are we going to get some farm bot flinging action? Hit the like button if you want this to happen as much as I do. Maybe that'll help. It doesn't, but it, it helps the video, so that's, it, that's even better. All right, I'm actually nervous. All right, I've just made something that I have no idea if it's going to work. We have five more seconds left. I'm really nervous that it's like not going to work and all of this will be for nothing. And it's going to be super anticlimactic. Oh no, they're all coming from the sides. This one has it. This one right here. <gasps> oh, you got to What? It didn't. Nothing worked. No oh, I forgot to activate the thing. Where's my switch? Where's my switch? Activate bounce castle. Oh, I was so that that was the oh man, I am so disappointed. They go so fast. They go really, really fast when they're in raid mode. Raid mode. Did you see how? Fa oh, anybody coming in here? No, we didn't launch anybody in here just yet. They walk too fast for the sensors, and one of them went directly after the sensors too. That is not what I was expecting. Oh man. That was so disappointing. Now, if I want to do another test, I got to wait another 24 minutes. All right, we got another straggler over here. So, the issue here is they just ran. I don't even know. Did the, did the sensor even, does the sensor not detect the bots? The sensor should detect the bots, right? It didn't even seem to react to the bot. I really don't know what to think about that. Oh, he didn't actually destroy the sensor. He just destroyed the side of this. So that's really bad that they can destroy the sides of this. I guess we could put saw blades around where the sensor is at least and protect the sensor. That was super disappointing, super anticlimactic. I am not happy with what just happened. But nothing happened. I had all these grand ideas and visions of Haybots flying through the air and the one that actually fell into my truck. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. We do, We don't want them to walk. We just want, we could just make a barrier. They stop right here. That's what they do. And we could just delete this end of it. So now if they get caught up going onto it like this, they get, they stop there. Oh, oh. Ah, that better work. That better work. Because the issue I think that happened was he just walked right by it. And then what we can do is we can also raise this up because maybe their legs, maybe it doesn't detect the legs very well. You know what I mean? So now if they end up coming up here and they hit this, is that enough? Do you think that's going to work? No, I'm going to set it. I'm going to set it one block back like that or two blocks back because I feel like the hay bots they kind of stop like right here. All right, ready for this? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna set this to 13 and boop. All right, so hay bots come really, really fast. And then he should just get knocked back by that instantly. I really hope that that ends up working. So now we have the issue of, we have hay bots coming from the side. They come from the side and we don't want them, we don't want them hitting these things from the side. Okay, now I'm curious, can I jump over this? Yes, because now I can get a Haybot, I can lead him here, and I can test it out by jumping over and then watching what happens to him. That could totally work. Okay, if this is the case, because they're going to be coming from the sides here, they're going to be less likely to come in this direction because they're going to be focusing towards there. So I'm just going to move the sensor onto the other side for this one. That, to me, makes the most logical sense. Then this sensor is going to be the most well protected, and anyone coming from the side up onto this is going to be more likely to get hit with the sensor because it's going to be facing them. So now, let's say they come up here at me. Pew! Okay. All right, this has potential. This has potential. And then we got to kind of do the reverse, the mirrored version on this one. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I think we've really lowered our chances of unnecessary attacks. So let's just go ahead and make sure. So say we come up from the side here. We're going to be coming in this direction over at me. 
And oh my god, look at that. Oh, there's a hay bale. What did just happen? I just like recovered midair. And now we have a perfect chance to test it on a hay bot. All right, let's do the middle one for now. All right, ready? And jump. Huh? Huh? Come after me. What is this reaction? Oh, my crops are sprouting. No! No! Come after me. No, this ruins all the plans! Do you know? Do you know something's up? Is it because of the gaps? Okay, that- but... What? Why did that work that time? Come after me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Straight, straight, straight. Don't stop. No, the stopping ruins it. Why? How far? He like, he hardly... I don't understand it. I don't understand what's going on with that. Here, follow me this way. Okay, how about this one? This one's a little bit different. What? No, 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 don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. He pathfinds around it. The raid guys might have different... They might have different pathfinding. That one worked. That one actually kind of worked. Is he gonna come after me again? Alright, come after me. Over this way, this way, this way, this way. What? Oh no, he's going after a cow or something. Oh, what is going on with this guy? He's just being an all-out weirdo. Ah. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. That might not happen during raids. They might behave. That that might be. They might behave differently during raids. Is it the wall? Here, out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and let's get his attention. Hit. Hit. Okay, he doesn't care. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this and see if he'll walk through it. Is it just because there's that wall in front of him that he's stopping or what's causing this weird behavior? Because my understanding is that if there's a wall in front of them, they they hit it, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect it to happen so quick. They're supposed to hit the wall. They're not supposed to just stop at it. And I was betting on them going all the way up to the wall to trigger the sensor. But as you can clearly see, that is not what what he's doing here. All right, here we go, and... What? What? He's running away! What is your problem? Are you just a weirdo? Or do you represent... Do you represent all Haybots in your attitudes right now? Ah! Ah! <laughs> you and me both, buddy. Oh! That did 69 damage! Nice! Okay, yeah, come on, come on, come on back after me. Eh. He's totally avoiding something, but I don't know what he's avoiding. Well, first, let's try this one again. Eh. No, no, he just doesn't, he just doesn't, it, it scares him. He knows, he knows there's something up with this floor. All right, follow me this way, how about this? Will you follow me onto this floor? Ooh, look at all this. Whoa, see, look! He has no problem. Why do you go on to that no problem? Uh, what is his problem? I don't know what his problem is. Oh, I got myself and then he, he only seems to get trapped by it if I trick myself with it. So I don't, I don't know what I don't know what to think. I have no idea right now if these raids are going to if these traps are going to work for a raid. All right, out of curiosity then. I'm going to stand right up here. Look at him. He doesn't even want to come up on here. What if I fill in this hole for you? Yeah, this doesn't seem to be making much of a difference at all, does it? What reason does he have to be stopped? It's like I have a saw blade on here or some type of weapon, but... I don't, so... I'm, I'm very confused. What? Oh, I got myself. Alright, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take you out. Not to dinner. Uh, out of life. 
All right, well, all I can really do is hope that the raid pathfinding is going to be different than whatever he was doing. And just I just have hope that they're going to be a little bit more aggressive and push into these walls. I mean, I feel like that's what they were doing. So let's just hope for the best. Okay, so this time we got 50 beets, we have 100 potato, and we have 50 bananas. So let's see what kind of raid this is going to get us in right now. Holy cow. Okay, start the wall and raise the bridge. And let's see what we're going to be having. Please, somebody. No, why do they stop? Why do they start? Right, the greenies don't stop. The greenies get launched. Oh, I mean, all right, here he comes again. Uh oh, all right, I need to take care of. Oh, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see, though. I want to see. I want to see the greenie get launched, but I got too many underneath me right now. But I don't want to miss it. There he goes. Not really. All right, let's just let's just get rid of these guys underneath me. Uh oh. Oh no, I may have waited a little bit too long. I have zero, zero frames. Look at how many are piled up right here. All right, time to get some frames back. Here we go. I am trying. I am trying very hard right now. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting our frames back. Now we are getting our frames back. And we actually have two of them are stuck. Look, look. Those guys are getting launched. Figures, that's the one that I haven't launched sooner before they get to the end. We might be able to mess with them though. All right, he's dead. I think those are pretty much the only ones left and they're actually getting hurt by it too. Here, let's get back up. How did that get damaged? Okay, so what I wanna do, um, I wanna move that sensor in, but I wanna do it quick. Oh, this is, there's no way this is gonna work. Oh, right, here's, now, now's the chance, now's the chance. Move it, no, no. Come on, put the sensor on the thing. Put the sensor up. Ugh. All right, well, we got one of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring this down and then re put that back. Okay, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Huh, huh. Doesn't send them flying, it sent the hay bots flying more. So why do the greenies have no problem with this? I'm very confused about this. The greenies run into it. Look, he actually just went up onto it, like on his own accord there. He wasn't even coming after me. Can I just like keep you guys here until the day comes so I can get a good thumbnail? The hay bots don't like it though. If anyone has any theories on why the hay bots are averse to these traps. Whoa, where'd the leg come from? Oh, they were on top of each other. If anyone has any theories why the hay bots are averse to these traps, but the greenies are perfectly fine with it, let me know because I really, really want this to like. This is a, this is hilarious. This is actually hilarious. I love this. <laughs> are you guys gonna like die, or are you just gonna? They keep they keep making this sound like they're getting hurt, but they're just not dying. I just want to see this keep happening. Whoa, that was a good one. That was a really good one. Are you gonna go after me or my farm? They're having fun. They're just having fun, guys. Like, look at this. Why else would they choose to keep going up onto it? He didn't even come after me at all. He did not decide to come after me at all. The sun's gonna be rising here soon. Let's see how long until... Well, we lost one of them. I just I just want them to be here until the sun comes up so I can get a good thumbnail for this. Oh man, I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. See, the problem now is that any other greenies that I lead over here in the daytime, their target is going to be me, not the farm. So it's gonna be hard to get a good angle. Man, look at all the- Oh, I forgot I had this active still. <laughs> I foiled myself. Get off, get off, get off. Ugh. Well, at least we got uh, plenty of loot from these guys. A lot of circuit boards. Not enough component kits. I really wanted more component kits. Look at how many hay bot legs we got. We really got to clean this up before the next raid. Follow me. It's work. Oh, I got myself. <laughs> I got myself. I'm sorry. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa. What? No. What? What are you doing? 
No, no, no. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. Okay, come on to the ramp one then. The ramp one might be easier for him. Wait, what? Oh, man. These guys are smart. All right, come on. Come on. Need a good thumbnail. Need a good thumbnail. Get me that thumbnail. Uh, uh, what is the cow doing? <laughs> I'm trying to take pictures here. Excuse you. Oh, I'll get another greenie while I'm at it. Hey, hey, hey. You can come too. You can come too. All right, now I got two. Better chances. Better chance for a good thumbnail. Oh, and a haybot. Okay, we're having a party now. Everybody come along. Yes! Yes! Oh, it's hard to it's hard to get the angle and get the shots at the same time. No, 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 come back, come back, come back. You can still play. You can still play. Alright, you know what? The haybot uh oh, the haybot's not really gonna be good for this. You know what's really annoying is I don't know if you guys noticed, but the haybots go flying compared to the greenies. But the haybots just aren't as receptive to the trap. This is a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be for this thumbnail. All right, you know, I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into how thumbnail creation goes sometimes. Um, sometimes there's an image I have in my head of a thumbnail that I want, but it's extremely difficult or even impossible to get that image live in game. So sometimes I, I need to get different aspects of the image and then I can put them together to create the actual image that I want. So what I really, really want is I want an image of the the bot here ragdolling in the air, which I think I have a couple of shots, one of which at least one should be usable. Like I could probably just crop him out of that shot as he's in the air. But the other image I want is I want it to communicate that this is flinging him in the air. So I kind of want this sideways shot with this thing actually up. So what I'm going to do now in order to get this shot how I want it to go, I'm actually going to put a switch here. I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to put the that on the switch. And then we're just going to do this. And then, actually, let me just put this back where it should be to make it look nicer. So now I have this just staying in the position that I want it to. And then I can, uh, I'm going to remove these so that they're not in the way of the shot. So now I can actually add like a motion effect or something to this so that it communicates the fact that this is a catapult that is going to be flinging them. And I might even want this to be like slightly lower. So now at this shot and then I can take the image of the greenie flying through the air and put them anywhere in this to create that motion. The goal here is to accurately communicate what's actually happening and it is really hard sometimes to communicate an action or a motion with a still image. So you kind of have to create those different elements of motion that uh, kind of tell the viewer what's happening. And that is a little bit of insight into how annoying making thumbnails can be sometimes. <laughs> All right, I think I, I think I fixed it. I think it's back to normal again. Whoa, look at this. Into the water! Oh. That's the second time that's happened. Not really sure what causes that. It'd be really nice to know because it'd be really nice to be able to uh, cancel my ragdoll at will. All right, with a minute to spare, everything has finally sprouted and been harvested. I have a ton of ammo on me. So place your bets now, boss or no. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to make sure everything is in order. We're going to activate Bouncy Castle. We're going to raise the drawbridge and we are going to be ready with the spuddling gun in the event that one of these guys is a boss. I just want to start shooting them as soon as possible. We're about to find out in five seconds if a boss is even coming. I could just be worried for nothing. I'm hoping I'm worried for nothing. There we go. We look clear. We look all clear. All right, I'm going to get ready down here. Get rid of these guys before they pile in too much. This is so many hay bots. This is so many hay bots. So many. Bounce Castle is amazing, by the way. Amazing. And look, the greenies are still getting hit around with the things. So it works for the greenies. We got that going for us, which is nice. Oh, man. Bounce Castle. Love it. Love the bounce castle. Oh, 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 over here, over here. Come after me. Yeah. And there he goes. Okay, uh, I know that there was some stragglers on the side. Do we have any coming around from the back area? No, I think we're okay from the back. We are doing... Oh, oh, excuse you. Excuse you. Uh, we are doing really, really well. 
against Haybot and Greeny raids now. As long as we can keep the, as long as we can keep destroying them as they get ragdolled here, we can avoid the lag of them piling up, and we don't have to worry about them even having a chance to hit us because they just get ragdolled 100%. Hey, look at what we got going on here. The trap's working, and the bounce castle's working. <laughs> I like the trap. Oh, there you go. On to the other one. Oh, I thought we were going to get a combo. Almost. Not quite. Did that one die? I think that one died. Now it's your turn to have some fun. All right. And I'll just uh, I'll just shoot him through them. Magicalations. There we go. Everything everything worked pretty well there. Okay, so I had the idea of making a farm bot flinger. It just ends up being a tote bot flinger. It won't fling the hay bots for whatever reason. They seem to be oddly aware that there's some type of threat here. So let me know if you have any ideas on how we could trick the hay bots into actually falling into our trap here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss future content like this. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to check out some more details about the new PC I am now using, uh, as well as sometimes I just post other random stuff on there that aren't YouTube videos. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then that, that's, you know, go do it. Do the thing. All right, well, if you guys want to see some more awesome content like this, then go ahead and check out some of this stuff on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.